NCAA College Football Today presents the seventh-ranked Michigan Wolverines. Featuring their talented quarterback, Rick Leach, and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame with their great quarterback, Joe Montana. That scene has been in northeastern Indiana for 48 years. Notre Dame Stadium. As two giants of college football are about to make their appearance, we don't know which team is coming out first because of a psychological battle between Dan Devine of the Fighting Irish and Bo Schembechler of the Michigan Wolverines. Notre Dame's mail is ready to go as 10 other green jerseys are all raring to go. Michigan's 11 white-shirted lads are all set. Needham, Lindsey, DeSantis, Kwiatkowski, and Ed are Besnick. Between the 50 and the 45, Johnson and Marsh, Larry Reed, and there it is, end over end, and it is going to be taken by Huckleby. Huckleby slips at the goal line to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, hit at the 19, and brings it to the 18-yard line. In the backfield with the bone is Huckleby and Clayton at the wing backs. Russell Davis close at full. There's Russell Davis. He's hit right there by the whole front four. Calhoun bowling, and Michigan's Russell fumbles the ball, and Notre Dame recovers. The first big break of the ball game goes to the Fighting Irish. Martinovich at tackle with Haynes at the split end. Montana under center. He heads off to Heavens. Heavens is hit the 15 to 10 and dropped at the nine and a half yard line. Not wearing the maize and blue, but wearing the white and blue right now. The dark blue numerals on the white jerseys, the maize and blue helmets in Michigan's mall. Must dig in with a front five of Sebron, Godfrey, Kites, Greer, and Meter. Now Notre Dame comes in with two setbacks. It's Heavens and Ferguson. At quarterback is Montana. Joe Montana, the senior. He puts in motion number two. Corny, there's the handoff this time to Heavens. He's hit at the six-yard line. He has just picked up the first first down to the ball game. The first big break for those of you who may have just tuned in. Michigan on the first play fumbles. Notre Dame recovers on the Wolverine 17. The Irish have it at the Michigan six-and-a-half-yard line midway between the sideline stripes. Going toward the northern goal. Joe Montana enters center, first and seven at the seven-yard line. Kearney in motion. There's a pitch off the sign to Ferguson. He's hit at the six. He loses ground. He loses about a yard on the play. It brings up right now, second down, and we have about six and a half to go. Here comes Kearney in motion again. Across formation, it's Holahan. There's Montana back for pass. He throws the pass. Complete touchdown. Touchdown to Brian Number 93 for Notre Dame. Number 93, it's Grindinger. Catches a pass right over the center. 17 yards after the Michigan fumble and four big plays, and the Irish fans go wild. Into the end zone. It's spotted by Rustic. It's end over end. It's kicked, and it is good. Notre Dame leads in this ballgame 7 to nothing. Over this, the very maize and blue surprise football network. Just made the extra point. End over end the last time he kicked at the Huckleby. Huckleby is going to watch it go in the end zone. Automatic touchback. Dame was guilty of hitting a Michigan man some way that's against the rules. First and 10 on their own 35-yard line. Wide to the right is Feaster. It's a balanced line. It's the wishbone. Now they're shifting into the eye. It's Huckleby deep in Davis close and Clayton on the slot on the right side and Ricky Leach looks over a 4-3. Ricky Leach goes out. Ricky Leach pitches off. Doc will be around the right side. He's up over the 39 and drops right there at the 39 or 40 yard line. As Notre Dame uses that pro set, a front four with three linebackers shifted to the strength. And Michigan figuring running out of the bone as they did a week ago against Illinois. They didn't show about 45% of the offense they have from that bone. And you just saw a play. The rest of the team, the back of the bone. Now they're shifting from the bone into the eye. It's Huckabee deep and Davis close and Clayton at the slot on the right side. And there it is, Davis up the center, 41, 42, 43 yard line. Huckleby was in the tailback. And he followed Davis through in isolation, picking up a block from Davis. And it was Huck in there, number 25. Brought down on the, call it the 42-yard line. He was tackled in there by Bob Golick. Two tight ends in a balanced line. It's third down and about three. And the two running backs are Huckleby and Davis. Huckleby and, and Notre Dame jumps off size. Ricky Leach, the experienced quarterback, Michigan center, pulled Notre Dame, but it is not illegal procedure. So it's first and 10 on the run, 47 yards line. Huckleby deep in Davis, close face to Davis, gives the hot. He's hit right there by a great big Notre Dame man in there in the person. Right, it's the bone with Huckleby deep and Clayton deep. Now Clayton goes across formation, setting up the pro set with one man back, a passing offensive formation. There's Ricky Leach back, cocks his arm for the first pass. He throws downfield, and it's caught down there at the midfield stripe. He gets away, and he falls over into Notre Dame territory. But evidently, it was a late hit, and it'll cost Notre Dame another 15 yards. 
Boy, Michigan has picked up 35 yards on this drive. There they are, the Bulls. And it'll be one tight end. That's Marsh. There goes Clayton in motion out to a slot on the left side. That will be deep in Davis close. And Ricky Leach under center at the 34-yard line. He's going to throw the long bomb downfield to Feaster. And it's way over his head incomplete at the southeast corner. Wide to the left this time is Feaster. There is Leach back again for a pass. He looks for a receiver. He throws it there to Huckleby. It's caught at the 23. First down, Michigan at the fighting Irish 23-yard line. Tony, instead of over the center, he was out in the left deep. And Huckleby got behind the halfback. as though he caught it, and the officials were there. So one man back now, Davis back of Leach. Two wing backs, Clayton and Huckleby. There's Ricky Leach. He throws downfield, and it is almost intercepted in the end zone. Fast week six times averaging 40 and a half yards a punt there's a high lazy punt that'll go into the notre dame end zone automatic touchback notre dame the defending national champ not meeting michigan for 35 years and these two great football schools steeped in football tradition and heritage now michigan has a front five composed of seaburn godfrey kites Greer, and meter there is montana and he gets the waves up over the 30 to 35 the 40 to 43 yard line it was jerry heaven first and ten for the fighting irish high formation ferguson deep in heaven's post joe montana under center with two tight ends and a balanced line there's a hand up this time to fergie he's over the 45 and is hit at the 47 yard line so notre dame the way they've been moving though the first time they had the ball they moved 17 yards and scored second and five now there's a hand up this time to fergie again he needs five he gets three to the 50 yard line there's a wing back out on the left side. That's Holohan. Holohan, number 31. There is the fake hand up. There's Joe Montana. It's a completed pass at the 40, the 35, and knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Grindinger. We'll give you Ricky Leach's comparative marks in a minute. There is motion across formation. Holohan. The two running backs. Heavens. Heavens has it. He's hit at the 30-yard line. Looking that over is Joe Montana. Corey in motion across formation. The running backs are Heavens and Ferguson, but Notre Dame takes too much time. Pro set, high formation. Ferguson deep and Heavens close. Joe Montana under center. Grinding her wide to the right. There's Montana rolling out to the right. He's going to run. He doesn't like to, and he's hit just over the line of scrimmage at the 32-yard line. Wide to the right is Condini. The two running backs are Heavens and Stone. A drop back pass by Montana. He's being rushed. He's evading the man, though, and now he's being chased over there by Kites. He throws the ball incomplete. Yards a kick throughout his career for three years. He's standing on the Michigan 46. He's angling for the corner, but I don't believe he got it. Wait a minute, did he get it at the goal line? No, it's an automatic touchback. Wait a minute, they're claiming that it did. It did get the coffin corner. There's a freshman through the team with the three backs, the two tailbacks, Huckleby and Clayton in the end zone. Huckleby takes over the five, six, seven, eight. Flags on the play. Out from the three to the eight yard line. Illegal procedure, the only score so far, and their only score of the 78th season, having lost the opener three to zip. It'll be Huckabee and Mitchell with this tailback. There's Ricky Leach going out, and he's gonna pitch, the, he's gonna keep, and he's piggyback ridden into the ground at the nine yard line. Michigan in possession. They have it second down and four at their own nine yard line. Huckabee deep in Davis close. Ricky Leach under center, Feaster wide to the right, Clayton wide to the left. There is Ricky Leach, he's over the 10, the 11 he needed and one on the ground just picked up by ricky leach there's leach fakes to davis hits to huckleby and leach picks up huckleby's fumble leach scrambles back to the five yard line huckleby was hit second and 19 the ball resting 21 yards in from this the western sideline from the bone michigan has two wing backs mitchell on the right huckleby on the left there's davis over the center to the five to the seven and it's dropped right there at the eight yard line flanker or towards the split receiver who right now happens to be clayton Wide on the left is Feaster. At the slot on the right side is Huckleby. And there's a delayed handoff to Davis. He's up to the 10 to the 12 and slips at the 13-yard line. Standing back there, he gets a nice snap from Lilja. And there it is, a nice, hard, lazy kick taken by Waymer at the 45 to the midfield stripe. Piggyback ridden into the ground at the Michigan 46-yard line. The wing back on the right side is Corey. The wing back on the left side, Condini. There is the end around the corny, and he's hit right there at the 47, but he breaks the tackle of Simpson, and he goes over the 40-yard line to the 38. As it brings up second down and three. The I formation, Ferguson deep, and Heavens close to Corey in motion across formation, two tight ends. There's a hand up this side to Fergie. He's hit right there at the 35-yard line, picking up enough yardage for another first down. The closing three minutes of the first period. Wide to the right over there goes Haynes. He had a hamstring pull yesterday in practice. This is his first appearance. Two running backs are Heavens and Ferguson. 
There is the handoff to the halfback, Heavens. He's over the 35 and dropped at the 33-yard line. Wide to the right is Holahan. Wide to the left this time is Haynes. Two running backs are Heavens and Ferguson. There is a fake. Montana's back. Plenty of time. A reverse pass is good in there to Mastic. And he's down to the 19-yard line. And Mastic is in the ball game for the first time. The defensive player said when Mastic comes in, we know it's going to be a pass. Two tight ends. And a balanced line. The I formation, Fergie deep and heavens close. There it is to Fergie. He's hit at the 16-yard line. And Notre Dame is just where they were in the opening series. Now Notre Dame sets themselves. Second and seven. The ball resting on the Michigan 16-yard line. The running backs are Heavens and Ferguson. Mastic is in again. There's a handoff this time to Heavens. He is hit abruptly right there at the 16-yard line. It's snapped right now. It's spotted by Rustic. It's kicked by Innes. It's blocked. And it's going down into the end zone. Automatic blocked in there. Automatic touchback. And so Michigan's Mike Jolly. Eventually, Ricky Leach is under center. He is Huckleby deep and Davis close. And there goes Slayton in motion across formation. Feaster's wide to the right out here. There's a fake handoff. Ricky Leach goes down the line. Pitches off to Hockey's over the 20. Hits at the 24 and dropped for a five-yard gain at the 25-yard line. And here comes in motion Clayton from the bone. And there goes Huckleby setting up the eye with Huckleby deep and Davis close. And Ricky Leach faking to Huckleby back for a pass. Ricky Leach is throwing way over the head of everyone because it was a missed assignment. That 69 game beat Michigan and Bo Schembechler 40 to 17. Now Michigan trails 7 to nothing. Michigan has the eye formation. It's third down and five. And Leach is back for another pass. And he's cooking. He's going to scramble. And now he finds the man. He's going to eat the ball back there at the 15-yard line. Ricky Leach is scrambling, but he can't find anybody open. And there it is, the end of the first quarter, dominated by Notre Dame, but never say die. Michigan is coming back upfield. They're going to change ends of the field. We're going to change microphones for a word over this, the very maize and blue and blue and gold football network. Standing on the hash line at the Michigan three-yard line. He has plenty of time, and he gets a nice, long spiral. Beautifully kicked to the 33-yard line by Waymer. He's hit at the 35, and is he dropped right there at the 33-yard line. Notre Dame's Joe Montana sets his team. Ferguson and Heavens at the running back. There it is. Ferguson following Heavens. He gets no blocking. Now he gets a block. He's over the 35 and hit at the 35-yard line. At the tight slot on the right is Holahan. There's a hand up this time to the half. He's hit right there at the 37-yard line. All right, third down. They have two out of four right now. Conversions on third down situations. There's Montana and the Courtney. He pitches off at the fumble ball back at the 23-yard line. Recovered by Notre Dame at the 21. Well, Notre Dame is having their share of miscues. Fumble by Stone at the 21-yard line. There is the punt this time by Rustic. He gets a beautiful high lazy kick just over the midfield stripe. A Michigan bounce back out of bounds right in Bo Schumbeckler's left. For all, Bo Schumbeckler is 81%, and Dan Devine is 75% in coaching at Arizona State, Missouri, and here at Notre Dame. The I formation, there's a head up to Davis. He's over the 45, the 42, the 41-yard line. Russell Steel Horse Davis. The line follows wide to the left is Feaster. In the back of the bone is Clayton and Huckleby. Here comes Clayton in motion across formation, setting up a medium slot on the left side. Ricky Leach is rolling out to the right, and he's going to throw it down here, and it is too short of the target. Feaster's open at the 27-yard line. we got 12 minutes left in the first half. There's the bone. Clayton and Huckleby at the running spots with Davis up close. There's Ricky Leach with the ball, and he's going to keep. He's over the 40. Cuts back into the 36. That's what Leach does best. The Wolverines have Feaster wide to the right. Two tight ends in the balance line. The running back, Mitchell, goes to the left side of the wing back. Huckleby deep and Davis close, and Ricky Leach rolls on. Pitches off to Huckleby. He's got a block, but he's hit at the 40. Down over the 30, the 26, and hit at the 25-yard line. So there'll be two tight ends in the balance line with Clayton wide to the left. And there's a draw play to Huckabee. He's hit at the 23-yard line, going up the center, picking up blocks. Where Ricky Leach looks over that 5-4-2 defense. And Michigan goes into a second and eight situation with Huckabee deep and Davis close. Davis has the ball. He's over the 20. He can't break it, though, and he's right there at the 20-yard line, brought down by Golick. So Ricky Leach sets his team. Two tight ends in the balance line. Now they go into power eye with Huckabee deep and Davis close and third down and four and listen to the voice of Notre Dame football. I think Notre Dame jumped offside. There's a pitch to Clayton. Clayton's down to 15, down to 10. That's back into the five, and Notre Dame, I believe, was offside, but Michigan will decline the penalty. And Michigan there shifts with... Mitchell going wide to the left, Huckleby deep, and Davis close in the six-yard line. There's a hand up to Davis. He gets to the four-yard line, to the three-yard line. Here comes Huckleby making the tandem of the eye with Clayton wide to the left. Huckleby deep, and Ricky Leach is going out, and Ricky Leach scores, and it's 7-6. to six. And Ricky Leach just scores his third 
touchdown of 1978 for Ricky Leach, who had two running touchdowns against Illinois. Dickie spots it. It's spotted. It's kicked. It's end over end. And it is good. Greg Wilner gives us a brand new ball game. Michigan zip. Notre Dame. Michigan 7. You for you getting carried away, baby. We've got 40 minutes left of this contest. And it's Brian Virgil, the Buchanan, Michigan lad, kicking off. He kicked him out of the end zone a week ago. This time it's taken by Stone at the goal line. Stone and Notre Dame the 10. The 15. He has daylight at the 24 and dropped right there. Montana sets his team. Ferguson deep and heavens close. At the slot is Colahan. He goes in motion across formation. And Montana goes back, gives off to heaven. He's hit by the stubborn Wolverines at the 26-yard line. Notre Dame 7, Michigan 7. Pro set, the two running backs. Fake. There's Joe Montana back. He's rushed. He throws downfield. Caught beautifully at the 45-yard line by a bear. Nick Bear, number 95. Russell Davis jumped 6'9 in high school in Virginia. So what, you for back at Notre Dame's gridiron. Notre Dame has a ball first and 10. There's the draw play to the fullback. He's up over the midfield strike. And he slips right there, Ferguson, at the 41-yard line. High to the left is Condini. And there is the handoff to Heavens. He breaks to the 34-yard line. Notre Dame's offensive line is starting to kick out. It's the I formation. Ferguson deep and Heavens close. Joe Montana under center. Puts the halfback, Holohan, in motion. Gives it off to Heavens. There's a flag on the play. And has yet to pick up a penalty, but... Joe Montana sets his team. I formation is second and eight. Across formation comes Holohan. Number 31 is Fergie deep. Fergie takes, follows Heavens over the 35, the 34, the 32, and drops at the 31-yard line. Remember, the series started at the Michigan 41. He has formation. Two tight ends in a balanced line. Heavens deep. Heavens is hit. And I don't know whether he made it or not. He's hit right there. At wide out is Corey. And there is the fake handoff, and Montana's down. He connects on the 21-yard line, and it's cut down there by Heavens, and he rolls out of bounds. And Ferguson deep, and Heavens close. Joe Montana looks over a 5-2-4 defense, and he puts the halfback in motion. That's Holohan across formation. Pitches off to Fergie, follows Heavens. Fergie's hit at the 15 and dropped at the 12-yard line. With Bell at the strong safety. Joe Montana hands off to Fergie. He's hit at the 10, the 9, the 8. He almost gets to the 7-yard line. He needed 2.5 yards. He picked up 3, 10-yard line. First and eight. Eight to go. Two tight ends in the balance line. Ferguson deep and heavens close. Here comes Curry in motion. Or check. Holohan in motion. And Notre Dame will be called for five yards. Illegal procedure. But Montana's going to run with the ball anyhow. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and dropped right there. There's a flag on the play. and Personal foul, Bob. Personal foul against Michigan. Evidently, they did. They detected a man piling on, on Montana. Fergie deep. First and goal at the four-yard line. Notre Dame seven. Michigan seven. There's Fergie, and he's driving into the end zone. Ferguson drives into the end zone to the four-yard line. This is a game of emotions, and the Notre Dames were really aroused. Kneeling is resting, and there is the extra point by Eunice. It's up, end over end, and it's Notre Dame, 14, Michigan 7. Five minutes and 21 seconds remaining. Over this, the Michigan Football Network. Four-yard line. Mail is set to kick off, number four, end over end. The third time he's kicked off in the ball game. He's taken under five by Huckleby for the third time. He's up to the 10. Check that Smith. And he's dropped right there at the 13-yard line. This is the I formation. It's Huckleby deep and Davis close. In motion across formation is Ralph Clayton. Ricky Leach looks at a 5-2-4, and then he rolls out and pitches off to Huckleby. Around the left side, he's up over the 15, cuts into 20 to 22, and almost has a first down. Washington had the ball 15 times in the first half, and they passed 8 out of 15 times on first down. I kept Michigan off balance, and they led 17 zip at the half. There's a hand up to Russell Davis. He's hit right there at the 23. Well, the defense right now, Ricky Leach is looking it over. Michigan's Russell Davis picked up the first down. There's Mitchell in motion across formation. Fakes to Davis back for pass. Ricky Leach throws downfield. It's too far. The intended receiver down there was Al Mitchell. Set to bring you the final four minutes and 12 seconds of the first half. Notre Dame on top, 14 to 7. Huckabee deep. Huckabee's blocking now. He's out in the right flat. Ricky Leach throws downfield. It's almost intercepted. Ricky Leach is not throwing the ball well at all. Just below the ankle, uh, which gave me a lot of pain right at first. I I think it was probably a lot worse uh, when I first did it than uh, what it feels right now, but we're just hoping. And Down at 12, and Greg Wilner's back on his own seven-yard line. There's the kick, a high, long spiral, and it's coming down on the 36-yard line by Weimer. He's hit right there at the 40, and Notre Dame takes over. Three minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Notre Dame leads 14-7. to Fergie deep in heaven's close. The I formation there is Fergie, and he's hit right there. Ball second and eight. 
on their own 42-yard line. There is the fake handoff to Ferguson, a drop-back pass, and it is caught and dropped, incomplete at the 39-yard line. Covering over there was Mike Harden. The two setbacks right now are Heavens and Ferguson as they've been all the game. They're forming a pocket for Montana from the 35, throws a swing pass out here to Fergie, and he's hit right at the midfield strike. Averaging 39 and a half yards per punt coming into the game. A lazy long spiral taken down there by Jolly at the 14. He's up to 15, the 20, the 25, the 28, and dropped at the 28 yard line. And pro set is Huckabee deep and Davis close, and Ricky Leach under center looks at a five man front. Draw play to Davis, and he's hit at the 30, gets to the 34 yard line, picks up about five yards on the play. As in passing right now, he is connected on six out of nine. There's Ricky Leach back for passing the 23, throws downfield, and it's dropped right into the hands of Doug Marsh. Michigan has had. Two completed passes out of ten, while Montana is six for nine. There's the I formation. Ricky Leach back, third and five. He's hesitating. He's throwing down with Clayton at the midfield strike. Catches the ball and falls forward to the 47-yard line. Ralph Clayton in Michigan's back, the mad magician. Chappius Elliott, Yorgies, and Weisenberger. Okay, Ricky Leach back, first and ten on the Notre Dame 47. A completed pass, and he drops it out in the right flat. Ralph Clayton, who just gave Michigan a critical first down. Wide to the right this time is Clayton. Wide to the left is Mitchell. It's Huckleby deep and Davis close. It'll be second down and 10. There's Ricky Leach back. He's going to hit from the blind side. He throws to Huckleby, who can't hold it again on the midfield stripe. He hit him right in the land numeral. Michigan's offensive line averages 238, so Notre Dame has a four-pound per man advantage. Ricky Leach drops back. It's third and 10. He throws it out in the right flat, and it's too far this time and not holding on to the ball. Under the afternoon, he's had three buttes, 34, 42, and 50 yards. There's another one right over the... Heads of the Notre Dame safety man and hit right inside the goal line. John Lund, Bill Petrula. Meanwhile, down on the playing field, Joe Montana on first and ten is going to run out the clock. That's their two scoring opportunities. They capitalized on both of them. Two extra points is 14 to 7. There's a pass over the center. It's good down there to Ferguson, and he's hit at the 29. Remember, the series started. And there it is. That's all there is. There isn't any more. 30 minutes into the record book. 30 big minutes to go. Stay with us. The same spot in your radio dial. I have a hunch we're going to see some explosive offensive football on both sides in the second half over this the Michigan and the linebacker of Washington intercepted but this is eight months later in the second half of the Notre Dame game the kickoff is down to the three island taken by Stone he's out to the 15 to the 20 and he hits his own man at the 21 and is dropped right there this Notre Dame campus under his Joe Montana he hands off to Fergie Fergie's at the 25 to 29 to 30 32 yard line beautiful running in there Notre Dame 14 Michigan 7 two running backs are Ferguson and Heavens Corey wide to the right. He's going wide to the left now, and there he hands off this time, and Heavens is over the 40 to 42, and he picks up on the play 12 yards at halftime against Michigan in 09. The Fighting Irish, there's Houlihan in motion. Ferguson deep, and Heavens close. Ferguson takes up the center. He's hit right there at the first and 10, and he's hit at the 43-yard line. They pick up a first down. They now have in first downs 11. Michigan has eight. Two running backs are Ferguson and Heavens. There goes Kearney in motion across formation, and there's a handoff to Heavens, and he does not get much in there. And the, right now, Bell is out to the wide side looking over the flanker while Montana's back looking at the same flanker for a pass. Rose downfield, and it's caught at the 47-yard line of Michigan. Joe Montana looks over a 5-2 umbrella by Michigan. He sets it at the Michigan 47, and the ball carrier is brought right down there, grabbing legs in there, submarining the whole front side. Tight on the left side at the wing back is Houlihan, and there is Heavens right behind Montana, and off to his right is Ferguson. And there is Montana getting the blocking, rolling out, throwing, and it is incomplete. They may call interference. They do call interference. Mike Jolly rode up on the back. Here at Notre Dame, it's Fergie deep and Mitchell close. Mitchell's in at fullback, number 44, and Montana gives it off to Fergie, follows Mitchell, and Fergie's hit right there at the 35-yard line. Joe Montana, masterful at the quarterback spot. He has Ferguson deep and Mitchell close. He's back, he fakes to Mitchell, gives to Fergie. Fergie breaks two tackles and is hit at the 32-yard line. Dropped right there at the 31-yard line. He looks at the five-man front, the Santa's Greer, Kites, Godfrey, and Seabron. Then he goes back, fakes the handoff. He's back, Montana's rushing. He's going to rush, and he picks up a first down, goes out of bounds. Oh, and it's recovered in there by who? It looks as though a Michigan recovery. It is a Michigan recovery. Kurt Greer recovers the ball, and Michigan gets a big break just as Notre Dame did to start the ball game. The question is, can they capitalize on it? They go from the bone into the high formation. Huckleby deep and Davis close. Mitchell at the slot on the left side. There's Huckleby with the ball. He twists over the 30, the 32-yard line. Very few turnovers. They've had a lot of penalties, though. Notre Dame has had six penalties for 50 yards. There's Ricky Leach this time, handing off to Russell Davis. He's hit right there. 
just over the 35-yard line. So Ricky Leach now with third and three. Wide to the left is Clayton. Two tight ends of Alice line. Huckabee deep in Davis close, and Ricky Leach looks at a tight 5-2 defensive line. Ricky Leach rolls out. He's going to keep. He pitches out to Hawk. Hawk's out. First down over the 30, the 45. Check the 40-yard line. And so now we have two wide outs. It's Clayton and Feaster wide to the left. The rest of the team in the I formation going to the short sideline. Ricky Leach, he has to wrestle Davis, and they get no running room at all the whole left side. At the slot tight on the right side is Clayton. He goes in motion across formation. Huckabee deep and Davis close, and Ricky Leach looks at a 4-3 defensive line. And Ricky Leach rolls out, and he keeps. He's into the open at the 45 and gets to the 48-yard line, two and a half yards shy of the first down. He being Ricky Leach, two tight ends of balance line. It's the wishbone with Davis close, Clayton and Huckabee deep. Ricky Leach rolls out to the right, and Ricky Leach keeps his first down over the 45 and down to the Notre Dame 42-yard line. Finally won 20-17, but the Clemson coach told Ricky Leach two weeks ago, Notre Dame can't stop your option. We'll see right here. Michigan, first and 10 on the Notre Dame 43-yard line. There's a hand at the side to Huckabee up throws at the 35, the 32-yard line, and Michigan taking advantage of the fumble recovery, and Ricky Leach looks it over. He puts the phone into the eye. Huckabee deep and Davis close to White House Clayton along with Feaster. And now he pitches out to Huckabee, goes to the short sideline, Huckabee at the 30. Oh, as he manhandles his 29-yard line, big Bob Golick. But that's all history. The facts are Michigan's Ricky Leach sets him second and seven. Ricky Leach rolls out to the right. He pitches out to Huckabee. He meets green jerseys at the 30-yard line, and he's dumped right there in his entire 13 years away from this campus. There's Ricky Leach rolling out. Flag on the play, and they're going to stop for the Notre Dame 39-yard line. Illegal procedure against Michigan. Michigan trailing 14-7. to The ball resting on the Notre Dame 35-yard line. Feaster and Mitchell wide to the right and wide to the left. Ricky Leach is back for a pass, and will he connect? He's going to scramble. Now he's getting away, and he's going to run. He gets blocking. He throws it. It's complete to the 20-yard line to Doug Marsh, and Ricky Leach rises to the occasion. Ricky Leach under center, first and 10 at the 21-yard line. They shift from the bone into the eye. It's, Rick, it's Huckabee deep, and Davis close, and Ricky Leach rolls out. Pitches the hug. Hucks down to 20. He turns on the jet at the 15 and drops at the 14-yard line. He picks up seven yards. There here we go, Ricky Leach sets his team. Second and four at the Notre Dame 14 yard line. It's the bone. There it is. High to Clayton down the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 yard line. Ralph Clayton. Ricky Leach sets his team. Two tight ends of balance lines. The bone in the backfield. Huckleby and Clayton. There is Ricky Leach rolling out. And he tackled at the five yard line. Slipping in beautifully with Zeddy. But the they shift now. Mitchell in motion. Huckabee deep and Davis close and Ricky Leach under center and Notre Dame almost coming offside. Ricky Leach rolls out to the right. Pitches off. Pitches off to Huck and he can't get any yardage. He's dropped at the five-yard line. Ricky Leach. Two tight ends in a balanced line. It's Huckabee deep and Davis close and Ricky Leach under center. Ricky Leach on the long count. He brings Notre Dame offside, I believe. Leach is back. Throws the pass down into Marsh. Touchdown! Touchdown, Doug Marsh! Doug Marsh catches a touchdown. Remember, he made a circus catch for a touchdown against Wisconsin a year ago. Doug Marsh, it's snapped by Luge. It's spotted, it's kicked, it's up. It is good. And we have a brand new ball game from South Bend, Indiana. This is what you were expecting. This is what I was expecting. Who will try to duplicate his kickoffs against Illinois in the second half, which every one of them were out of the end zone. There he goes, end over end, and it is down to the one-yard line by Stone. Stone and Notre Dame, the 10, the 15, the 20. He's hit at the 24-yard line. The big green breakout offensively. It's Ferguson deep, and Heavens close. At the slot is Holohan. He's in motion across formation. It's Condini wide to the left. There's a drop play to... Ferguson, boy, he's scrambling. He's a hard worker. He picks up four yards. Pro set, wide to the right this time is Corey. Wide to the left is Condini. There is Montana handing off to Heavens. Heavens picks up three more yards to the 32-yard line. It'll be third down and two. They just moved that ball, 72 yards to score, and tie it up. Fergie deep and Heavens close, and there goes Corny in motion. Two tight ends of balance line. His pitches off to Fergie. He needs three, and he gets four right over the 35-yard line. Wide to the left this time is Condini. Wide to the right is Holohan. There's Montana to Fergie. He snowed right there at the line of scrimmage. In fact, he lost the yard on the play. He's connected on eight out of 11 passes. You can't do much better than that. He sets with two running backs. He's back for another pass on his own 28. He's being rushed. He throws it, and Fergie can't hold it on the 38-yard line. 
So it brings up now, third down and still 10, a passing situation for everyone in the stadium to watch. There it is, a drop back pass. It's downfield, and it's intercepted by Michigan. He's down to the 40. He cuts into 35, and it's intercepted by Michigan's Jerry Meter. Jerry Meter intercepts the number two tackler in 77. Tight ends the balanced line. Huckabee deep and Davis close, and Ricky Leach under center looks at a 5-3-3 defense. He fakes the Davis pitches off to Huck. Huck has a man to beat. He can't beat him because piggybacking. There are two tight ends in a balanced line. Rosie deep. Davis close. Ricky Leach under center at the Notre Dame 34-yard line. 14 to 14 is the score. Ricky Leach gives it off to Rosie, who's hit right there at the 34-yard line as Michigan tries to go up the center on the draw play. So it's third and ten. Feaster wide to the right, Clayton wide to the left. The drop back pass. Everybody knows. It's downfield. It's caught by Marsh, and he's first down to the 21-yard line. Doug Marsh, who caught the touchdown pass earlier in this second half. And Davis close and run. Feaster in at quarterback. A run. Feaster wide to the right. There's Clayton. Wide to the left, the pitch off it to Rosie Smith, and he's over the 20, picks up blocking there, but he can't quite twist away from two or three would-be tacklers wearing the big green jerseys here, and I believe that is the final play of the third period. Notre Dame 14, Michigan 14, 75,000 and or 59,075 fans going wild along with you and me over this, the Michigan Football Network. Two tight ends in a balanced line. It's the I formation. It's Smith deep and Davis close and Ricky Leach under center at the 17 and a half yard line. Second and seven and he goes out to the right. He being Leach. He spots a man open down there. Touchdown! He's wide open and it's Doug Marsh! Doug Marsh, the Akron, Ohio junior, catches his second touchdown of 1978. His second touchdown against Notre Dame. Six out of six on the season. It's spotted. It's kicked. It's end over end. There it is. It's no good. Oh, it was no good. I'm sorry. It was off to the left. Boy, were we premature on that horn that time. Fans here at South Bend. Okay, Brian Virgil kicks long and deep, and it's taken there by Waymer at the 5. He fumbles it at the 7. He's hit at the 10 and dropped right there at the 10-yard line. And Michigan's kickoff team coming down beautifully. The running backs he has are Jerry, Heavens, and Ferguson. And there goes Houlihan in motion. And there's a hand up this time to the halfback. It's Heaven. Joe Montana's underneath Dave Huffman. He has two running backs. Ferguson, and he hands off this time to the fullback, and he's hit right there at the 17-yard line. Old Ron Simpkins looking over Joe Montana, who has a third and three. He has Fergie deep, and Heaven's close to drop back pass. He throws it over, and it is caught beautifully. But he's not going to get Fergie. is not going to get the first down. He is driven back to the four-yard line. Michigan has a dual safety back with Harden and Jolly. There it is, end over end. Not a very good kick. Hitting on the midfield strike. And Harden's going to allow it to roll dead on the 31-yard line. Michigan in good field position. Okay, Bob, you for all set with Ricky Leach set on the field. He has Smith deep and Davis close. There's Davis up over the 35, the 40, the 42, and the series started at the 31. That'll be a first down for... That's two tight ends. And it is Smitty deep, and Russell Davis has the first down. He needed about six inches. He picked up about three yards. Climaxed him with passes to Doug Marsh for touchdown. Michigan has it first and 10 on their own 43-yard line. There goes Mitchell in motion across formation. Smitty deep, Ricky Leach is going to keep, and he's hit right there at the 43-yard line. Ricky Leach found no running room. It is Smitty deep, and Davis close the I formation. Ricky Leach under center. Leach is back. Leach pitches off to Davis, and he, or Huckleby, or Smith, and he's down that sideline and steps out of bounds just shy of the midfield stripe. Seven out of 13 third downs. This is a big one now with the bone set up. Davis close, and Smith and Clayton are at the wing backs. And it is Ricky Leach rolling out, and he pitches off to Clayton, and they get nothing but green jerseys riding them out of bounds. Michigan tried to use the bowl, taking plenty of time. There's a nice snap, and Greg Wilner has plenty of time. A high, lazy kick, and it's a fair catch at the 22-yard line by Gibbons. Most of those against lesser opponents throughout most of the first half of the 20th century. There's Joe Montana back first and 10. He's going to scramble, and he's going to pass it downfield. It's incomplete. The intended receiver was Jerry Heavens. Joe Montana looks over that 5-2-4 defense. He has two running backs. He's dropping back with plenty of time to pass. He throws out the right flat, and it's caught there at the 12. He's at the 15. He's hit at the 25-yard line. Remember, the series started at the 22. They will pass with third and five here, whether Maztec is in or not. It's pro set. It's Fergie deep and Heaven's close, and Montana's back for the pass. There's the long bomb, and it is caught. First down at the 43-yard line. It's caught in back of too many players, anything in the Wolverines. Now, wait a minute. Now they're going to bring the ball back upfield. But anyhow, it cost the Irish 15 precious yards. 
first and 25 that puts a different complexion. The pocket is set up. There is a long bomb too far for anyone. The intended possible receiver was Houlihan, number 31, the only man that Michigan had ever captained three sports, football, basketball, and baseball. Fergie deep. Evans close. A drop back pass, and there is Montana throwing downfield. It's intercepted by Harden. Intercepted, and he goes out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Mike Harden makes what may prove to be the biggest interception of Michigan's 1978 season. Now they're going into the eye. It's... Smith deep and Davis close. Ricky Leach under center, first and 10 at their 42. There's Russell Davis getting about two and a half yards through the center. Feaster wide to the left is Clayton. It's Smith deep and uh, Davis close. Ricky Leach is back and he's going to throw downfield to Clayton. He catches it and it's a touchdown! Wow, Clayton catches a touchdown! God bless his cotton pick and Mason and Blue Heart right along with Mike Hart. Look at Bo Schembechler over there and those Michigan coaches. Michigan is going after Ricky Leach threw a 42-yard bomb. He sets his team, the I formation. There's Mitchell across formation in motion. Leach is back for a two-yard pass play. A two-point, he eats it back on the 19-yard line. Well, Ricky Leach came through when he had to. Michigan, with nine wins in 11 games and 168 points coming into the ball game, have now 26 more. And that is 194 points. Notre Dame's whole hand in motion. The draw play to Fergie. He breaks the tackle and he's hit right there at the 23-yard line, picking up about two yards on the play. That's the way they're lining up now with Joe Montana, second and 10. He's back for a pass. Montana can't find a receiver. He throws downfield incomplete, and now he's being rushed and harassed. Michigan has come out here, turned it completely around. It's third down and 10, eight minutes and 51 seconds remaining, a passing situation. Four men will go out this time, and Joe Montana will roll out to his left. He's throwing right-handed. He sets. He throws. It's almost intercepted down there. Line. He's averaged 41 yards a kick for four seasons now. There it is, a long spiral, and it's taken by Harden at the 40. Harden at the 45. Harden at the 43, reversing his field, and he's stopped at the 41-yard line. But Michigan came back here this afternoon. Ricky Leach on the drop play to Huckleby, and he's dropped right there at the 42-yard line. Larry Reed is in at fullback. Reed close, and Huckleby deep. And Larry Reed is a fine fullback from Philadelphia. Watch him run when he gets the ball. Ricky Leach pitches off this time to Huckleby. Gets a block from Lee Reed, but he doesn't get it. Now Huckleby's over the 45, the 47. Picks up about five yards on the play. So Michigan's set now with third and six. Ricky Leach on the bone. He has Huckleby along with Mitchell. And there is the Leach back, and he's throwing the pass. It's in there. There's a the fumble. The pass is fumbled. It was intercepted. The Notre Dame man can't believe it was called back because on the play, Michigan was offside years ago. There's a snap back this time to Wilner. It's almost, and they may call roughing the kicker. They don't. It's a high kick, a Michigan bounce to the 20, and it's dropped right there at the 19-yard line. So Joe Montana sets his team first and 10 on the Notre Dame 17-yard line. He has Ferguson deep in heaven's close. They gotta be running out of gas. They played the entire ball game. There's Fergie again with the ball. He's hit and dropped right there at the 20. Vegas Ferguson. Joe Montana is under center. He has Heaven Steep and Ferguson close. Second and nine. He's back for a pass. He has plenty of time. He's throwing downfield. And it's caught down there by Hayes. He fumbles the ball. And it's recovered in there, I believe, by Michigan. It's a completed pass to Haynes, who fumbled the ball. It's recovered by Michigan. The Wolverines have excellent field position, leading in the ball game 26 to 14. And now again, he catches the ball and fumbles. Well, that's the breaks. A tough, tough break for the youngster. Huckleby and Clayton at the running spots. Now Clayton's in motion. Sets up a pro set. There's the fullback, Davis, or Larry Reed. Check Larry Reed into the center of the line. Two tight ends in a balanced line. Second and five on the 45-yard line. There's Clayton around the left side. He's trying to find running room. He's hit at the 42-yard line. Picking up a lot, two and a half yards on the play. Al Mitchell is at the slot on the short side of the field. Huckleby deep and Reed close. Ricky Leach under center. It's third and seven. A long count. Ricky Leach hands to Larry Reed, and he drives that Philadelphia frame of his all the way down over the 40 to the 37-yard line. A long count. There's the snap back, and there's the kick. A nice, high, lazy spiral. It's going to go into the end zone. Automatic touchback. Automatic touchback with first and 10 at his own 20-yard line. A swing pass complete to the 25. He's up to 30, the 31-yard line. And the receiver there is Jimmy Stone at tailback and Dave Mitchell at fullback, a junior and a sophomore. A drop back pass by Montana. Devine's got fresh man in, and there's a long pass, and it's caught, and he's out of bounds. He didn't catch it inbounds, incomplete. It's called an incompleted pass. There is Montana back on second and 10. He back throws the pass. It's complete to the 48-yard line. 
with three minutes and 15 seconds remaining. But what a timely one. At the end of the game, we'll have Jerry Hanlon in there. You know, I don't think Dan Devine is as uh, strict as disciplinarian as Bo. At least the play today would indicate that. A drop back pass by Montana over the center is complete to the 40, the 45, 47, 48 yard line, complete to Jimmy Stone. Keeping that 12 point lead, 26 to 14, Notre Dame's Joe Montana with a pro set. Rolls out like Staubach, cocks his arm, looking for a receiver. Complete down here to big number 86, Maztec at the 43 yard line. He fumbles the ball and it is recovered. I believe they're going to call it blown dead before he fumbled. Referee Gene Calhoun will signify right now that it either was down as he caught the pass. No, they're claiming he fumbled and Michigan picks up another turnover. That means the Wolverines have now picked up three recovered fumbles by Notre Dame and two interceptions. Notre Dame has had five costly turnovers. It's Huckabee deep and Larry Reed close. Ricky Leach under center first and 10 at his own 43 yard line. There's the draw play this time to Huckleby. He hits nothing but green jerseys at the 45-yard line. Kasparik in for the first time in 1978. There is the handoff this time to Huckleby. He hits green at the jersey right there at the line of scrimmage. They have the ball now with a third down and five. At about the 49, we have a minute and 40 seconds left in the game. Rick Leach, the man yeah, Bill man. was talking about, is the offensive player. Huckleby. Oh, he had to go laterally far. He turned up. He's showing his speed. A couple of weeks. Now, Wilner gets off a punt on fourth down and one. And Waymer of Notre Dame. Oh, there's an effective weapon. You think you've got it one and then lose it. And now, at their own five, Joe Montana continues to try to get the yardage. Incomplete. He said this was the most important non-conference game of his lifetime. Montana. Second down and ten, as we have in the second half, Frank. Most unusual. But then to have a team take advantage of those turnovers is... Oh, no! To add insult to injury. A safety. Chris Godfrey. Joe Restick. A free kick following a safety. And it's taken by number 22, Ralph Clayton. And a fine run back of that free kick, Frank, with a minute and one second to go. Back to the 40. Rick has completed 8 of 19 for 111 yards. One part of that yardage is a 42-yard touchdown strike. And in at quarterback now for Michigan is B.J. Dickey, a sophomore from Ottawa, Ohio. Yep. Michigan with the game well in hand uh, just ran a second down and five play Lawrence Reed getting it from sophomore quarterback B.J. Dickey Notre Dame leading at halftime 14 to 7 So let's watch Dickey star of the future perhaps for Michigan calling signals. He has a third and three And Lawrence Reed the junior fullback 86% win since he's been in Michigan And you hear the Michigan fans the final score, 28 to 14. Travel arrangements made. 28-14, that final score. 